Here's a bunch of unique weapons and items which are in the game files and completely legitimate but it's not known where they come from yet. I thought I'd put them online, show them off and then put a link to a save file so if you want to try these out yourself you can. The first one is this assault rifle called Old Painful. It's um, a fire gun, a fire spin gun good fire rate and it seems to shoot incendiary lasers. Quite fun to play with. The next one is the Freeze Easy which, which is the gun that you get during the mission that you have to turn in but uh, it actually is the game files you can keep it. Um, what's special about it? Super high chance to freeze but really low damage. Might be a time or place where you want to try and freeze somebody but not actually kill them. Not super sure. Kind of neat. The next one is one of the best ones. The Lady Fist which is returning from Borderlands 2. Um, key of it is this 800% critical hit damage, and I tried it out, and it does seem true. Um, let's go take on some of these dark siders here. It works at a distance. The critical hit damage on this thing is, is incredible. 800%. It's also Gwen's head. I think this one's actually known where it comes from. It comes from a box somewhere out in the... Guy. Just like it was in the first one, again, it seems to be the same gun as Borderlands 2. Also quite a good one. Next up is the Fibber, which is returning from Borderlands 2 as well as all three variants are there. There's the Ricochet Fibber, which I don't know if you can tell when it ricochets. One bullet splits into a whole bunch. You can see how many hits it's doing. Um, it's quite quite fun to use. The shotgun fibber. Get one pull. You get that many. And the crit fibber. Hard hit, but um, has a super high crit damage. Um, the creamer is also back, which is a rocket launcher from uh, Borderlands 2. Um, it's you, shoot it, you can see it splits off into multiple rockets. And it also is a healing. It's a, as you can see from the skin, it's a moxie weapon, so it does heal you. So that's a nice one to have. On to the shotguns. This is uh, what I think are the, certainly the best ones, the ones that you probably want to, to get to play with. First up is the Heartbreaker. Seems to be exactly the same as Borderlands 2. Moxie healing shotgun. Good damage. Decent accuracy good fire rate all around. Seems to be the same as Borderlands 2. But this one, this one, the Boomacorn. I'm assuming it's a play in words on Unicorn, so there's probably going to be some kind of Unicorn boss, but what it does, when you fire it you hear that, you hear that name, but what it actually does is it has five pellets, but it hits with all four elements. I don't know if you can see on the ground here. You can see corrosive, you can see fire, you can see shock, you can see ice. Um, super fun to play with. Um, so, here mind, so you can see just what, look at the colors. You can see that was explosive. You can see there was corroded in there. So it, this is a, a shotgun which fires all four elements. You can see corrosive, you can see explosive. Super fun. Um, yeah, another shotgun. Is this one? It shoots explosive pumpkins. Quite fun to play with. It's called uh, the Jackal Cannon. Uh, shoots, like I say, shoots explosive pumpkins. I'm assuming it'll be for some kind of Halloween theme thing, maybe, so it might actually be coming out soon. Um, but super fun to play with. And again, the Boomacorn is the one that shoots all the elements. Makes this a nice horse out. It's quite fun. Next up are the SMGs. The Good Touch and Bad Touch are both back, seemingly the same as Borderlands 2. 
Um, one's fire, one's corrosive. Both heal you. Both are nice weapons. So again, if you were a fan of that, looks like they are back. Um, the Frostfire, which I think is actually a reward for, I believe, beating the raid boss, but I'm not sure. Um, this is a super neat one. Um, it's a it's a it's a cryo weapon, but it shoots two ammo, and one is cryo, one is fire. I don't know if we can see that here. You can see how he, he lit on fire. So it's like the Chulain kind of in Borderlands 2, where it, that one was shock and I think um, slag. This one is cryo and fire, which is kind of interesting. So you can freeze and and um, shock them, but you can see by the screen, it actually has a super high chance of freezing you, just like the Chilean would slag you. Quite fun to play with. Um, this one I think is actually a drop from one of the named bosses, uh, but it's um, a decent scav SMG. It's corrosive, but it also has a chance to, I believe, freeze as well. And the last uh, SMG is this one called Meat Grinder. This one is both as close in spirit as the Double Anarchy was in Borderlands 1. Three bullets at a time, huge clip, absolutely no accuracy. Um, super fun. Super fun to play with if you can get up close and if you don't care about accuracy. We've got a badass incoming! It's got, like, just this fire rate. And... <laughs> they are kidding about Meat Grinder. Super fun. Okay, so that's it for the... Oh, I drifted off there. That's it for the SMGs. What else do we got here? Let's take a look here. The sniper rifles. There's the machine, which is a Vladov sniper rifle. Um, pretty decent crow damage and damage. Uh, damage is high, crow chance is high. I'm not sure how many elements can come in. Huge magazine. This thing is, is just like an assault rifle. There's this dull wet weak, which seems to be kind of like a sloth, high damage and a slower bullet rate. Um, and the Cherami, which again is returning from Borderlands 2, and uh, its big claim to fame is it is a healing, healing uh, sniper rifle. So, let's see if we can pick some up with this. After we scare them all away. Warning: air reserves at 50 percent. We'll just quit and come back in. Okay, so this is the machine. So it doesn't seem to be anything too special, just huge clip, you can see, with some perks. I've got it up to 51 bullets in the clip. There's... <laughs> it's quite fun, I love a lot of sniper. You run out of bolts real fast, but it's real nice. Um, the wet wet week here. Want some more? I don't know if you can see how slow the bullets are. High damage, but slow. Might work for it, but you can see it's super high damage when it hits. And the share me, which I don't have any damage to do. But again, just like the guns do. You can see the you can see the healing marks there. And um I think that's it for all the unobtainable unique weapons. Um, the only other thing, there is two shields. The Cracked Sash returns, which again is homage to Diablo. Super low recharge delay, super low capacity. Might work for some builds. And uh, the Deadly Bloom, which is returning shield from Borderlands 2. This one's kind of nice because it unleashes two Novas. One when your shield goes down. Actually, should go off there. And one when you lose your health. So, for example, I'll see if I can sneak up to this guy and Nova him. 
So we got the one Nova from the shield went down. And you see the Nova did did go off there, but the guy ran away too far. So I don't know if we're gonna be able to I should switch weapons. Um, but it's a neat shield, so you get two Novas. So if you like a Nova shield, you get one. One when you lose your shield, and one when you go into fight for your life. So uh, it can actually be pretty valuable. Obviously, it didn't save me there, but um, pretty neat. Um, for grenades, there's this baby boomer. It's called. It's a rubberized grenade mod. But what it does it lets grenades off, kind of like a bonus package in a way. So you did that guy. Where did he end up? There he is. So we'll throw this grenade. And watch it bounce. You can see it'll spawn off grenades everywhere, so it's actually kind of rubberized grenades are kind of terrible. This one's not not too bad. You can see where you got that guy with it. Kind of neat. So that's all the unobtainable uniques that are in the game that are either from bosses we haven't found or from quests that haven't happened yet. But I thought I'd put together a little video of all the ones that um, I have. I got these from somebody online. I'm assuming they're all coming from save editors because um, nobody seems to know where any of these things come from so I'm assuming somebody's just save editing and dupli duplicating these but I figure I'd put them out there in case anybody wants to play with them and you know do play with the Boomacorn and the Jacker Cannon for sure super fun um, if any of these returning weapons are ones you like the the Lady Fist is is absolutely devastating with that critical 800% critical damage as well um, and of course good touch bad touch if you're a fan of that all here so again hopefully this helps and uh, download the save if you want to try these